hi ladies we meet again up close and personal because i am back with yet another eyelash video these have been my favorite types of videos to do lately so anytime i have to do a full set of lashes you best believe i'm going to be sitting down and filming it for you guys i still am not really used to looking at myself in the viewfinder without any lashes on because it kind of freaks me out makes me feel like i'm naked i am always wearing a full set of lashes <laughs> So, uh, no, we need to fix this right away. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys like my current eyelash extension routine and this very slight new trick that I've been doing that has been keeping my lashes on for up to three weeks. Okay, the longest I've had them on was three weeks and the only reason I took them off is to wash them and wash my lashes and just, you know, make them look fresh again. But I could have probably even gone longer because they don't fall off. These are waterproof as well, so you can take a shower with them, you can wash your face with them, you can swim with them, you can do basically anything water related with them. The only thing that I recommend to stay away from is any type of oils because anything with oil will make them come off but any type of water even soap is completely gucci with these type of lashes so without further ado i'm gonna stop on rambling let's just dive straight into it my current favorite lashes to use are the originals from lilac st i have spoken about these already in previous videos these are I have not found anything better than these. I like ST has other really great options as well, but the originals are my favorite because they look so natural on. They don't even look like eyelash extensions. They literally look like your own lashes, just a little longer with maybe a little bit of mascara on. So that's why I've really been digging these. My go-to sizes are 14 and 12, but for this video, I'm going to be doing 16 and 14. I mentioned this before, but the originals are also on Amazon, which is really great if you're not trying to wait for shipping from Lilac ST. You can always get them off of Amazon. They're only $7. You can use these up to 30 times. The band is super fine, so you can even touch it to your eyelid. You're not even going to feel it on, um, but it's also so durable that it's not going to break apart when you're washing the lash extensions. The lash clusters are so fine, which makes it really great when you're wearing it on for a really long time because you can barely feel like they're on. They're just so light and feathery. It just doesn't feel like you're even wearing anything. I hope that explains why I love these so much. But really, any lash clusters would work. You can even use falsies and cut them up into little clusters and still be able to do this trick. And the glue that I always use that's been giving me the best longevity is from Lilac ST. Also, this is the Pro Bond and also have the seal to go with it. A tweezer like this makes the process so much easier, but if you don't have one, you can really use even something like this. A regular tweezer that you pluck your eyebrows with let's do this this is the bond you want to wipe off the excess product and i'm just going to apply some on the outer corner of my lashes um i'm gonna apply it as i go so i don't want to apply it on all my lashes yet until i'm ready to put the cluster on just like you would apply any regular mascara just make sure every single natural lash is coated in this bond now here comes a trick that has been making my lashes last even longer. I'm going to pick up my lash cluster, coat it with a little bit of lash bond, just like that, and then apply. So pull up the lid and apply. It will automatically bond to your natural lashes. You want to get it as close to the lash line as possible. I'm going to repeat with another cluster. Just like that. Now we're going to apply a little more of the bond on the inner corner lashes. See, the reason I do it as I go because I don't want the bond to dry while I apply the outer corners. And this is the last cluster I'll be using on this eye. All right, now that I have all the extensions on, I'm gonna go in with my tweezers and pinch. So you're gonna wanna pinch from the very bottom, work your way up to make sure all of the natural lashes are bonded with 
the clusters even though they look like they might be a little clumpy right now don't worry about that just pinch we will separate them a little later and one eye is done <laughs> do you see what i mean they don't even look like lash extension they just look like my natural lashes just a lot longer and thicker and <laughs> maybe it looks like i'm wearing a little bit of mascara but that's about it they look super nice and natural i'm gonna quickly do the same thing to this eye and i'll be right back Now that we have all the lashes on, I'm gonna go in with my lash comb. Or if you don't have one of these, you can also use a really sharp tweezer like this. And just go in between the lashes, make sure none of them are stuck together. And just separate all of them. Before we seal it all in, we wanna make sure they're combed out and separated. This type of comb you can get on Amazon, super cheap, I think it was like $5. It just works a lot better, but if you don't have one, you could also just use the mascara wand. I still do that sometimes. But once I have them all nicely separated, they look even to me. I'm gonna go in with the seal. Let's seal them all up. So I do start with the top because we apply that bond on the natural lash and that's what we need to seal. Ah! And then we go underneath. You want to make sure you coat every single lash. This really ensures it's going to last the longest. And then the last step is to give it another good pinch. I think for my face, long lashes make a world of a difference. That's why I love doing them and these are gonna last up to three weeks. I'm going to comb through every couple of days with the seal just to freshen them up a bit, but I'm gonna show you throughout the week when I go swimming how they still stay on so well after a long day of swimming in the pool. If you love lashes just as much as I do, I highly encourage you to try this trick. Everything I use in this video will be listed in my description box below. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please give me a huge thumbs up. Maybe one day I'll become the lash queen of YouTube. Hmm? Hmm? Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to sit and watch another one of my videos. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.